I'm here with the ROG Strix G16 gaming laptop, but today I'm looking at this from a video editing perspective because that's also what I do. And this thing looks very cool and it's very, especially very cool for gaming because of all the lights. I'll get into that in a minute, but it also has a, some very cool specs for video editing here. Now, this is the i7 version, the i7 uh, Pentium Intel with a RTX NVIDIA 4070 uh, graphics card and 16 gigs of RAM. So this really helps with those editing and multi-layer projects. Now it's DDR5 RAM running at 4,800 megahertz and it's multitasking like a 10. So you can easily switch between your editing software, After Effects and other resource heavy applications without breaking the sweat. I'm using the DaVinci Resolve right now, but you can also use Adobe, of course. This can handle it all. I mean, NVIDIA RTX 4070 GPU is a game changer for render times or real-time effects. Then you notice a significant speed up in GPU accelerated tasks like color correction and applying complex effects right to your video editing software. Now storage-wise, you're looking at the one terabyte PCIe Gen 4 SSD, which offer blazing fast read and write speed. So this means you quick boot times and snappy file transfers essential when you're working with large video files. So this can handle like 4K and HD without any problem here. It looks great with its cyberpunk inspired aesthetics. It's a little bit more geared towards the gamers with all of these LED lights here, RGB lights and different colors that you can set up. But of course, it's also great for video editing. So I think this is more of like a powerhouse when you are switching between gaming and video editing. Uh, not someone business and video editing. It's got a mix of aluminum and plastic in the chassis, giving it a sturdy but very stylish look. And it's about 5.5 pounds. So it's not the lights option out there, but it's still portable enough for on the go editing. The one area where this laptop really shines is its cooling system. Now, Asus has implemented a liquid metal cooling, which gauge temperatures and check even during intense rendering sessions. Now, this means you can push your edits to the limit without worrying about thermal throttling. I did notice that the fans can run quite a bit loud when you're really pushing this to the max, so it is not the uh, ultimate quietest one. I thought the Acer Predator. Uh, Helios Neo was just a little bit on the quieter side. And this is especially important if you're also doing recording. So sometimes I re I'm editing my uh, work here, but then I notice that I still need to record something. I record right directly into the editing software because of, well, the speed. Uh, but then if your fans are really, really loud, and the mic will pick all of that up. So that's not great. But other than that, this offers a lot of power to do your editing. Now this G16 features a 16 inch QHD plus screen with a 240 hertz refresh rate. While some might argue that such a high refresh rate is overkill. And the display isn't the best in market. It has a 165 hertz refresh rate and it is a QHD plus screen, uh, 16 inch here, of course. So it is nice, but it isn't the best in class. So all of these features, uh, all of this hardware is truly top of the line. Uh, maybe you could upgrade to the i9 with a different laptop, but the uh, Intel Core i7 is sufficient for like most editing tasks here and the GeForce really picks up the slack there. Um, but screen isn't all that great. But color accuracy is, of course, crucial for video editors. And this T16 doesn't disappoint there. And the, the display is Pentone validated, assuring accurate color reduction. However, if you're doing serious color rating, you might still want to invest in an external monitor for the most crucial work, uh, or just a different laptop which has a little bit of a better screen.
Uh, connectivity is another strong point here. You've got Thunderbolts 4 ports, which are perfect for connecting external drives or monitors. And there's even an HDMI port for when you will need to present your work on a large screen. You have two USB-C ports, but also two uh, USB ports for those legacy devices, which is already very great if you're editing. You've got a lot of cameras like I do, or recording this stuff, you don't want those additional cables. Now, battery life is decent for a high-performance laptop like this, offering around 5 hours of usage. Um, that's nothing groundbreaking, but it's sufficient for short editing sessions away from the power outlet. And the power outlet is it's a large brick, it's not the largest that I've seen, but it's still pretty hefty. And so you'll always want to take that with you. And you also might want to invest in like a cool backpack for this thing, because together with the power supply, it can get quite heavy. And it's not all perfect. The webcam is only 720p, which is a bit disappointing in this day and age of remote working client calls. And the speakers are also just okay. -ish. You'll probably want to use headphones for accurate audio editing or, or use like some studio monitors like the Presonus one that I'm using. Uh, if you really want to do editing, which requires a lot of uh, audio work, and I use that just use my headphones, my swipe. Small as fun track here. Now to wrap things up, the Asus ROG Strix G16 is really a powerhouse here, especially in this configuration. And it's a seriously capable machine for video editing. Now it offers desktop class performance in a well, somewhat portable package, making it an excellent choice for content creation who needs that power on the move. So this is a great thing. It's a little bit more geared towards gamers here, but that's now a problem for video editing. So if you're in the market for a portable editing powerhouse, then this ROG Strix is definitely in contentment. So if you're in the market for a portable editing powerhouse, then this ROG Strix is definitely in contender.